Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Field. I was watching a special the other day on, on YouTube about 3D printed rooms. They have these big machines now where they bring them onto a site and actually build a house. They print a house is, is kind of what they call it. And it's a, quite a great process. So I thought, wow, this, this would be a great process for, you know, critical listening environments. So let's walk through some of the steps here. So what it is is a machine that, you know, it has a, a nozzle and it, it's on a track and it runs and it goes down the track and it puts this bead of concrete in, in layers and builds the wall up from the ground. You know, it just keeps doing a track around it and gets higher and higher and higher. And then they put steel in the concrete, you know, rebar and reinforcement, which really makes it strong. What a perfect barrier. You could design how thick it is. You could design how strong it is. And that's, remember from past videos, that's all a function of frequency and amplitude. So if we got low frequency issues, this is a really good barrier. We can make it wider if we have to, if we're dealing with lots of noise, maybe narrower. Can control the density and the thickness. It's a process designed for the frequency and amplitude. But here's another cool thing about it. Inside the room, we can design it any way we want to. So we can get rid of all the corners. We can make them rounded. We can get rid of all the floor, ceiling, and sidewall intersections that create problems. We can design for that. We can even change the shape of the walls to minimize reflections. That can all be calculated. So there's a, a nice kind of process here with this printing process that could be used and they talk all about the steps and everything and you can paint you can add colors it's quite quite amazing i don't remember the company but they were based in texas so you could look that up and, and try to do a little bit of research one of the interesting things i found out about it is that they're going to use this process on the moon to build you know lodging and landing pads for for craft and stuff like that but they're going to use the moon dust that's on the moon surface. They're going to use that as their concrete <laughs> mixture. What a great thing if you think about it. You know, there's the raw materials right there on the planet surface that you can use in there. So they're working on that right now. I think they mentioned that just to send one brick would be over a million dollars to the moon. In, in shipping costs. I complain about shipping costs all the time. I guess I got nothing to complain about with, with those, but um, if they're going to build the structure with existing materials on the planet, you wouldn't have all those shipping costs. Wow, that would be great, wouldn't it? Sure could use something like that. So I just thought this was kind of interesting because it gives us a lot of control that we really don't have right now. We have to do brick by brick or poured concrete mold by poured concrete mold, but with this, we can control the barrier, which is for noise, and we can put together a more favorable design for the inside and uh, minimize a lot of the structure issues we face when we're uh, building and, and looking at critical listening environments. 3D printed rooms, kind of interesting. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.